Well, hey everyone, it's Hex here, and today I've got something for you really, really cool. This is another modern skyscraper. This one here was built off of a Pinterest image. It might be a real building, or it might be just a project, or just something that an architect came up with. Uh, it has apartments in it, so each level is its own apartment. It has a working elevator. That's right, a working elevator. And it's fully decorated on the inside. The bottom is a bookstore. We've got a pool in the back. The top is a restaurant, and I think it looks pretty good. I think this is going to be a good one for you to do in your world. We've used actually orange terracotta. I've never used orange terracotta before, and I really like it. You could alternatively use orange concrete or some other material that you find uh, that you like the color of. The glass is all light blue, light blue stained. And then inside, here's our little bookstore. So I tried to do kind of like a you know, like a popular sort of bookstore look. Um, and so we have, you know, just kind of like a like an area here where you can check out some books. We've got bookshelves all over the place. We even have a little coffee bar back in here to kind of check out and hang out and have a cup of coffee while you check out a book or two, see if you want to buy it. Uh, over here we have the working elevator. So this is actually using my elevator design that I just made. Um, I think it was last week. Anyway... This button's missing. How about that? <laughs> Take the elevator up to the each floor. This is a fully decorated apartment here. So we've got nice TVs, a couch, a uh, little bit of a dining room table, a kitchen, a little fireplace right here. I like that fireplace. A couple of bedrooms, a bathroom got master bedroom here's the pool out there pretty cool stuff the elevator does go all the way to the top and all the way back down there's actually room to put a staircase in here but it's behind where these TVs are so you probably wouldn't well it depends on how you decorate it if we go upwards it takes us to the next floor there's multiple floors I think there's 21 or 22 of them uh, I'm just going to fly up to the top because it's, this elevator is a little bit on the slow side if we're going to be going up 21 floors. Each one of these floors is identical. I just copied and pasted it with Bling Edit. And then here's our uh, restaurant at the very top. So we have kind of like the host or host hostess area, some tables out here. We have some tables out here on this super spooky balcony. I would never be able to eat right here. But if you want to look over the edge and get some vertigo, there's that. And then we have kind of a second level up here to uh, where you can eat. And a little bit of a bar area right here. And some nice big windows to look out over the future city. <laughs> and so on and so forth. So yeah, I think this one is going to be really good. And I think you're going to enjoy this one a lot. I really enjoyed making it, and I think it looks really cool. I, I like how this kind of orange piece comes up here, and it looks like kind of this rectangular piece that sort of have a, has a cutout in it. Uh, I like that quite a bit. like it quite a bit. Anyway, let's go ahead and check out how to build this thing. Okay, you're going to start things off with this as the foundation. So go ahead and make a uh, white concrete shape with these dimensions right here that you can see on the screen. Now what you're going to do, if you want to decorate the interior exactly the same the way that, that I did, then you're going to need to put these sea lanterns and stuff in the floor. And also this, this is uh, this basalt stuff. And then right here, this is where our elevator is going to go right there. So let me show you that stuff. Let me count that out for you. So let me count that out for you. So this uh, is going to, the sea lanterns are going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight nine blocks away from the corner. And then if you go up one, two, three, four, five, six, the seventh block will be our first sea lantern. And then you can count out the rest right here for that layout right there. And that's gonna actually go underneath some carpet. Okay, and then, whoa, I just threw the torch, <laughs> throwing things. <laughs> okay, so this one right here is gonna go behind kind of like the checkout area in the bookstore. So if you come from this corner right here and go over one, the second and third block right there, so three blocks over and then one, two, three, four, five, the sixth block up, then that's where that starts. And you can 
create that shape, you can count out the sea lanterns. Hello, you can see my shadow. <laughs> All right, and then over here, this right here is kind of the lobby of the apartment side of the skyscraper. So when you go into that little door right there, this is on the floor. And this is just some uh, basalt blocks. And it starts, uh, let's see, obviously one block away from the corner right there. And then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six blocks across. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen blocks long. And then these two blocks right here need to be immovable. So you don't necessarily have to use obsidian. But obsidian's what I used. But you can use any immovable block right there. And then these two, so then you want to create like a, so for our elevator, we need like a two by two space right in here. And then you can put this um, observer facing up because that's going to be kind of like the starting point, uh, the floor for your um, elevator. Okay, next we're going to create a wall around the entire thing that is eight blocks tall. In the front, what we're using is this orange terracotta. So basically this was our floor level. So we're going to go up eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then all along here is going to be orange terracotta. You can leave this one block short or you can build uh, like one more orange terracotta like in the corner right here. It doesn't matter. I actually left mine open. And then white concrete all the way around the edge like that, eight blocks up. Except for right here on this side, you're going to make 19 blocks of orange terracotta this way. Like that. So from the front corner to there, it's 19 total blocks. And that's what the torches are for to help you count. Okay, then you're going to count this out in the front. So from this front left corner, three blocks over and five blocks up. And then you're going to go up an additional one, two, three blocks with the orange terracotta all the way across. And then you're going to go one, two, three, four, five of glass blocks. And this is light blue stained glass that's set back a block. So it's not right on the edge, but it's set back up back a block. And then once you get to five, you're going to do this uh, two by three door with some of these glass panes right there. And then you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six with the light blue stained glass. And you have a door with the panes and then one, two, three, four. And then this is all orange terracotta like that. Uh, this is on the very edge. So three blocks over that way. And then you can build this little door structure for kind of the elevator entrance. And then one, two, three blocks of orange terracotta that way. Uh, this way right here, so I included all of the, um, what do you call it, basalt block right there. So this is actually on the edge of the basalt block, this uh, wall right here, and it's also eight tall. And then what I want you to do is to come and leave a one block space past where this uh, obsidian is right here. So you wanna leave a one block space and then build the wall right here. And that should also be your 19th block over there like that. And that's an interior wall that'll um, be for your elevator. Now, if you don't want to build any of the interior and you want to use the just the exterior for like redstone farms inside or something like that, then you can leave this off right here, this wall. Um, this wall right here on the back, it just kind of comes over here. And then I built an interior wall going across this way because we're going to build a pool in here. And then that kind of like interferes with the bookstore. So all I did was just put like a wall right here and then this part right in here. We're not going to build anything in here, but just a pool that you'll see later. Okay. Um, also, there is a window right here that is, uh, I think it's one, let's just count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks tall. And that, and that is using these panes. So it's the light blue stained glass panes. This wall is completely solid. And then there's a little window back here that's the same height. That's one, two, three, four, five, six blocks tall with the light blue stained glass panes right there. Okay, that is kind of the first layer. Okay, so if you are building my interior, let me show you what I did for the interior. On the bookstore, what I did is on this wall right here, on this little wall, I went over one, two, three, four blocks with these slabs right here. I don't know why that's missing or that. <laughs> Uh, I went four blocks over with the slabs and then I did uh, a shelf one, two, three, four, five blocks high or sorry, not a shelf, but a set of bookshelves like that. And then I did two bookshelves that are two blocks high and then I did a full height and then two more and then two full heights and then two more and then two and then a full height and two more and a full height. And then what I did is I put these little trap doors in kind of alternating like that. 
Um, these alternate where the lower one is on the left and these alternate where the lower one is on the right so that it kind of has that symmetrical look to it. And then I just put, of course, some pots with some plant plants in there. Now, all of this carpet is completely covering all of those uh, sea lanterns that you saw before. So every piece of carpet here, and this is gray carpet, fills uh, goes over the top of one of those sea lanterns. Then in front of that, I built this two wide uh, countertop that goes around here, and this is gray concrete. And then on the ends, I built just a little black stone, uh, like a polished black stone wall with a shroom light on top of it, surrounded by these trap doors here. Those are the dark oak ones. And then for a little cash register, I did just a quartz stair and a couple of these pressure plates like that. This one here is a little, I think it's off center. Yeah, it is off center by one. So it's kind of on the right. I decided to do it that way. I suppose what you could do is go and do something like this if you wanted to, to make it symmetrical. That would be fine. Um, it depends on your kind of taste, whether you're okay with symmetry, whether you're okay with asymmetry or not, but that looks okay too. Um, and then, yeah, so that extends all the way around and it's two blocks wide all the way around in front of those sea lanterns. Okay, then let's see, from right here, we've got one, two, three, four block space, and then we have our first pillar. This is three blocks tall of a uh, dark, um, sorry, the, the gray concrete, and then we have three, uh, three slabs across of the dark oak, of course, and then another pillar, and then three, and then a pillar, and three, and a pillar. Along this wall, what we have starting from the window, I did alternating three blocks tall of one, two, three, four, five, six tall, of these bookshelves, and then two blocks of some dark oak wood slabs uh, simulating some shelves. And then I did five and two. I don't know why that one's missing one. There we go, missing a shelf. And then five and then two again, and then five like that. Then I did a space and I did these trap doors all the way up to one short of the top block because actually we're gonna put a, a roof like, or um, a floor or a layer of blocks right there. Um, alternating across with these dark oak trap doors all the way around like that. So there's one, two, three, four, five of them. And then what I did is I made right here on this wall, a little bit of this, um, this little coffee shop. So this is one, two, three blocks from the top here. So if this was like the ceiling right here, they were going to build it in the next step. Um, it's two blocks below the ceiling, three from the top of our eighth block at the top of this wall. And then those are all polished blackstone. And then down here, we've got three polished blackstone, a cauldron, three polished blackstone, and then two coming out there with this little trap door of crimson. And then we've got this countertop where I did three of the polished blackstone and then four of polished blackstone, but two layers deep with, of course, our little brewing stands and a couple of pots to simulate like coffee makers and stuff for the coffee area. Then right here, I did these two, um, these two tables. So it's just a blackstone uh, block, a polished blackstone block with polished blackstone slabs and then these crimson trap doors around it like that with an end rod and a pot for a little lamp. Okay, then in the center, what I've got here, actually, let's do this wall right here. Across this wall, I started with these trap doors and then on top of it, I put these um, shroom lights right here. So basically, I've got shroom lights on top of the trap door, on, on top of the, uh, sorry, these are slabs, these dark oak slabs. And then I just did shroom lights covered by trap doors like that, all the way across like that. And then we've got one, two, three of these um, slabs. And then those are also one, two, three, four, five, six blocks high with the seventh block being the shroom lights. You could use whatever light is handy. It doesn't matter. You could even put torches behind there. You're not going to see that. That's just for some extra lighting. And then we've got three and then five of the bookshelves, three, five bookshelves. And then it, I left a space right here between the window just so that the bookshelves didn't go right up against the window. For some reason, I don't like that. You could do uh, one more bookshelf, but I don't recommend it. Okay, um, that layout of the uh, sea lanterns in the middle, you're going to put a carpet on top of every single sea lantern. And then wherever there was not a sea lantern, that's where you're going to build a bookshelf going up one, two, three, four blocks like that. So then you're gonna just going to have these like rows of these bookshelves and stuff like that. Now you can decorate this if you want to decorate it a different way and you don't want to use all these bookshelves or you want to make this space something else, go for it. I mean, it's completely up to you, but this is what I did in my, uh, in my build. 
um, in here, this is just the elevator extending upwards. So what I recommend you do is watch the tutorial on building my elevator. And this would actually be, so when I do the tutorial, like pretend the door is right here, because I did the door on like the side of the elevator instead. And then um, because all of the other doors are actually going to be facing, if I can get out of here, um, this way like this. Okay. And then because of this return system or the reset the reset circuit right here, when you watch the video, you'll see it. This is part of the reset circuit. Um, I built this wall out one block away from that reset circuit like that. And then if you want to figure out where that wall is, I have some basalt columns right here that are one, two, three, four, five, and it's every other block like that across here. And then over here, I just did a row of, let's see, what are these, um, six of these birchwood trap doors. And these are just to simulate like mailboxes. So perhaps like this is like the residential part of the build of the uh, of the building. And so then if you came in here, you know, used your key or whatever, like a code or something to get in, and then you would, this is like your mailbox and this is the elevator that would take you up. But all of the other elevator doors are actually on this side. So build it so that the door on the elevator um, is actually like right here on this side like this facing towards the bookstore. Okay. Oh, back in here, there is a pool in here. And then I just kind of lit up the ground here with some sea lanterns just so that nothing spawned in here. I recommend doing that if you're doing this in survival. Obviously, you don't need them if you're in creative. And then I'll talk about the depth of that pool when we get to the ceiling here. Okay, so next what you're going to do is you're going to fill in that entire layer with white concrete. So this is actually the eighth block up and this is inside of that. So like if we go in here, um, you can see that the white concrete is built where that layer, um, like it, just like right here. So just fill the whole thing in, except for right here. So two blocks away from the edge and two blocks away from that edge, you're going to put in some grass all the way across right here. This dirt right here is where a tree was. I copied and pasted this layer from over there just to let you know. And then right here, two blocks away from this and two blocks away from that, you're gonna build one, let me get my torches out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, long strip of grass that is two blocks wide, of course, okay? Same thing over here, you're gonna come in two like this and two like that, and I think this is gonna be a different length. So one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, no, it's 15 also. So this is also 15 by two this way here. Then this pool, let me show you where the pool is. So uh, from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go from the very edge, you're gonna come in, grab my torch. One, two, three, four, five blocks. And then it's three away from this strip of grass, strip of glass, grass, glass, grass. Yeah, that's grass, not glass. Okay, <laughs> three away from that strip of grass. And then that would be uh, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven away from that side. Okay, and then the pool is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen? Yeah, it's also three away from this strip of grass, so it's in the center like that. Okay. And then this way, the pool is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks. Okay. And I did mine uh, three blocks deep. So one, two, three blocks deep like that. And then I just surrounded it with white concrete. If you want to build yours less deep or deeper, it doesn't matter. Um, it's just a little pool in the back here. Okay. Um, this right here is just the continuation of the elevator going upwards. I did fill it around with some white concrete blocks just to keep mobs from spawning. You don't necessarily have to do that um, if you don't want to, if you want to leave the elevator more open. But as you can already see, we've got some little mobs spawning in here also. And I I know I could put it on uh, um, peaceful mode, but the bling edit tool that I use to build some of this stuff and copy and paste from that one to make sure that everything's perfect is um, it doesn't let me do that. Uh, I have to be in at least easy mode. So anyway, um, that's what's going on with that. Okay, next I wanted to show you how I did the ceiling lights in here. So basically what I did is I just took and put two shroom lights underneath two of these polished black stone walls in each gap right here between these um, 
bookshelves right here. So basically like that lines up with that. And then I did it here. And then I did it here all along the front. Then with these bookshelves, I did it on the back right here. And then what I did is I surrounded them horizontally with the light blue stained glass. Okay. Then on this part, what I did is I just put a few of these little uh, black stone polished blocks right here with some chains and then underneath those, some of these little uh, end rods at different heights. All right. Uh, then I did the same thing with these bookshelves, except I went this way, uh, left or sorry, front to back like this. And they're set back one to the third block back um, from the ends like that. And this one here, you could set like the third block back, but it is just at the end. Okay, now we're getting into the main part of the tower. This is the very first layer of the apartment building. So what you're going to do is on top of all that orange terracotta, you're going to build a one tall stack of this white concrete. And it's going to come from this corner right here. You're going to come back one, two, three blocks, only one block tall. Then you're going to go all the way across the front like this, all the way down this way, one block past here like that. And then you're going to come in one, two, three blocks like that. Okay. Then coming back to this corner right here, uh, after you've taken these three blocks back, what you're going to do is you're going to build this right here out of orange terracotta. And you're going to come this way towards the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 blocks. That's a mistake. Then you're going to come one, two, three, four, five six blocks like that. There's actually a space right here, so don't build anything in this corner. Then you're gonna come with white concrete this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, uh, sorry, three glass blocks like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven more like that. And then there's this window right here. And this is all one, uh, except for the front right there where I was telling you that little low ledge for the balcony. It's one, two, three, four, five blocks tall like that. Okay, and this is on the fourth block and there's a one block space right there for this little window. And this is the, uh, the panes where these are the, the light blue stained glass blocks. Okay, so if you go to seven from the glass to the corner here, you're gonna go one, including the corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, then two glass blocks uh, all the way to the top. And then you have this little window along here that is two blocks away from the left side, two blocks away from the top, one block away from the bottom, and that is the stained glass panes, not the solid blocks. You could use the solid blocks, but the panes make it look more textury and kind of cool. Okay, then after these two glass blocks, you're gonna come over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to that corner. Then you're gonna do a similar window right here in this wall that is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine again. And there's that window. And of course, this is two blocks away there. Then you're gonna do three more blocks right here. One, two, three. And this, these are not directly across from each other, by the way, as you can see. Uh, it's a little bit offset. And I'll show you how to deal with that in a little bit. So there's three glass blocks like that, five blocks tall. And then one, two, three, four, five, like this. Then you're gonna build this little ring of orange terracotta that is one, two, three, four, five blocks out starting on line with this wall, so that's the first one. Three blocks this way, and of course, five that way, three this way, like this. And then, oops, and then on the side here, I just put some blast furnaces on every other block going up. And basically, this is gonna extend all the way to the top, like that. And the reason these blast furnaces are here is just for decoration, that's all. <laughs> you don't have to put those if you don't want them, but I think they look cool. Anyways, then across here, what you're going to do is one, two, three, four blocks of glass and then one block of white concrete. And you're going to do that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 blocks long so that you have like this three block space from that first block that we built around. And I'll talk about the columns in a second and a three block space here as well to this little low wall that we did at first. Okay, then you're going to come ac back across this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 blocks. And then you're going to come forward one block to build these 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. And there's going to be this little two block space right there. And then this is a three block space right there. Okay.
Then to do these columns from this front left corner, one, two, three blocks over. You're gonna, on the fourth one, you're going to build, and these are basalt columns. So one, two, three, and then a solid concrete block. Here are the same thing. One, two, three, and then a solid concrete block like that. And it's also three blocks from this corner like that. Okay. I'm going to hover over it so you can kind of count these torches if you want to. See if I can get a good perspective so you can see all the torches. That's pretty good. That's a lot of torches to count. You might want to watch that part a couple times and double count it just to make sure that it's all right. And then, um, because this is going to be the main um, template for moving upwards. So basically, this template right here is what you see there all moved upwards. We are going to build some stuff on the inside here, and we are going to build... Um, like a floor on top of this, but basically it's going to be this and then stacked up like 21 times, I think. I think it's 21. Okay, next you're going to build these interior walls. Now, again, if you want to build farms inside of this, you don't need the this layer of blocks at all. <laughs> Actually, like you don't need the floor in here whatsoever. You can get rid of that and you don't have to do the step with the walls and you can skip the step with the interior decoration. But if you wanna make it exactly like the one that I made over here with the interior and everything, then this is what you're gonna to need to do. So I left all the torches up here for counting purposes, but right here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come from, uh, let's, let's see, I start from right here. This is the best place. So to build this wall, you're gonna build this wall over this way so that it's in line and then that two, uh, the two wide block of um, the glass blocks right there, that is like you're going to go to the edge of that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks to there. Okay, then you're going to build that wall all the way along here to there. Okay, then you're going to come right next to this section where there's three glass blocks and you're going to build a wall out this way so it intersects that block right there. And the, of course, this is going to be your hallway right here. Then what you're going to do is from this corner, you're going to come out this way. Same thing right to the edge of that block right there. I think that's another seven, but let me count it for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, sorry, it's eight. And then this way, you're going to come this way so that it's the intersection is right in between these three blocks and this window right here. So this is going to be your bathroom. This is like the master bedroom. And then these are the two like other bedrooms. Okay, uh, the doors of this, I like to do three tall doors, so I did some three tall doors right there. This one is right in the center of the wall of the bathroom, so like there's two blocks on each side. So if we're up above it, it's like that. This one is right across from that. It's three blocks from the corner also. And then these two, if you start from this glass block right here, it's two blocks away from that. So one, two, and then the door, one, two away from that, and then the door right there. Then you're gonna build this orange terracotta wall from this corner to this corner right here. And then we, I did fill in this little gap right here. Um, you can leave this area open. This is where your elevator is gonna go. So right here, these are gonna need to be immovable blocks. I just used the obsidian, but you could put any immovable block right there on those two that you want. And here's gonna be your door for your elevator. So if you're building the actual working elevator from that tutorial that I uh, sent you to with the, um, what's it called? Um, with the little card that was on the screen. Hopefully you caught that. Um, if not, then you can catch that because I'm not going to do a tutorial on the elevator because it's going to make this tutorial like an hour long. Anyway, um, you can do that for the elevator and then here's like the door for your elevator right here. All right. Then we're going to take a look at the interior decorations in on each floor and then we're going to stack it up and build the restaurant. All right, here are the interior decorations. So let's go ahead and start back in this back left bedroom right here. So in this bedroom, what I did, and this is the back left one, is I made a little bed out of some, uh, this is light blue wool. Why is there a zombie? I don't know. Anyway, there's a zombie. And then right here, we've got some of this, uh, I think it's the white concrete powder. And then behind it, we've got some birch wood, and then a couple of slabs like that, so some stripped birch. We've got uh, a, a little end rod for some light, and then we have some sea pickles. Um, now, if you're in 1.17, I would use candles right there because you have candles, but I don't yet because I'm in 1.16 building this. And then up above that, I've got these slabs with just a couple of derpy little plants on there. And then right over here, I have a collection of shelves 
Um, so these are obviously on the lower block so that you can like put stuff on the shelves like that. And then just a couple of pots there. Um, you could put some more bamboo or whatever. And hey, funny, whatever, whatever plant in there, it doesn't matter. Okay, the doors I did like this. So I actually put two trap doors that way and a trap door that way of these crimson ones because I like the way that these look. Obviously that's the derpiest door ever and it doesn't work. So if you want to put a real working door in there, you can. But I did that just for decorative purposes. I think that kind of looks cool. Uh, over here we have a little desk, two slabs and a stair upside down with this right here and that right there. And I actually need to get some paintings because when I copy and paste with Bling Edit, um, it doesn't quite copy and paste right. And so what I actually have here is that painting. That's the exact painting I have. I got lucky. Um, up above here, I just put in some end rods with some of these trap doors around just to be some lighting. And here what I have is some barrels. You could also do like, uh, actually shulker boxes would not work in here, but I, I recommend barrels or chests and then cover that with these uh, trap doors to kind of make a dresser. And then, yeah, that's this bedroom. The next bedroom over, this is the master bedroom, so it's across the hallway. And I did the same trick here with some barrels like that and some trap doors, you can see that. And then this bed right here, I really like. Uh, what I did is I did the pink, let's see if I can uh, hover above it right here. So I did this, uh, the pink glazed terracotta with these flowers kind of in that pattern around a pink wool block and then these are wool blocks you could put snow on here but snow i have snow melts on so that's why i'm not using snow for pillows but you could and then i've got some trap doors just against the wall and then all two of them up and then over the top like this and then i put trap doors on the corner going up trap doors on that corner going up to kind of create like a little four poster bed looking thing just kind of a different twist on the four poster bed i haven't seen anybody do that and i just came up with that so uh that's my copyright right there 2000 and 21 hex regulus copyright <laughs> just kidding anyway uh then a couple of these stripped birch wood blocks right here um just with a button on it to be like little nightstands with a couple of lamps super simple and then a carpet right here three by three made out of the uh whatever that kind of carpet is and then we have this right here um so like our roof our ceiling is going to go like that and then that's kind of like one of these derpy little um, kind of corner lamps that I did with some end rods. And then these are, of course, white stained glass panes. You could use a different color too, but I, I kind of like the white. All right, that's that room. Going down here, let's do this room. This room is pretty much a mirror image of this one, except with a couple of little minor changes. So one minor change is I put these lights in the corner. So that's going to be our ceiling in a little bit. So just a couple of end rods. And then this right here is an iron bar. You could also use a chain block right there. Uh, I think the chain would look good too. I did the same sort of trick with the um, barrels and our uh, trap doors. Now you could leave these off and put some plants up there too, or you could just leave it like that, however you like it, or you can put these on. And then right here we have that same kind of desk situation. There should be that same painting right here. Did I get rid of the paintings again? I always do that. There you go. There's our painting right there. Whatever. I, I think that like that one kind of looks like a background, like a desktop background on a computer. But this one here, it super looks like, you know, like a Windows background or something like that. Um, and then we have the shelves over here in the corner. Uh, again, our little um, candles. I tried to use snow blocks here, but like you, like I said, I have snow melts on, so it looks like we have a half a pillow. <laughs> but uh, you could also use the heavy weighted pressure plates because those look like pillows. And then this bed here has these uh, signs around it. And I meant to put the signs around the other one but they didn't get on there. So actually, um, that's what this one's missing. I knew it looked a little bit bare, but basically you just take signs and put it around like this. Do, do, do. And that kind of makes it look like the bed has sort of a frame kind of thing. It makes the bed look a little bit more realistic, I guess, that way. And then of course the same sort of slabs and some plants and stuff like that. Okay, uh, the bathroom here, I like this shower very much. What I did is I did some polished blackstone stairs all the way around. So it's actually three wide here and then all the way around. And then in the center is just polished blackstone slabs, just three of them like that. Against the wall, we just have our derpy little tripwire hook and a button. And then right here, what I did is the white stained glass. And again, this is gonna be our ceiling right here. So the white stained glass goes all the way to the ceiling. That's gonna be our ceiling eventually. And then I did just three end rods hanging down in the center, super derpy lighting. And then we have this for our, um, our vanity sink. 
And then right here, what I actually have in the example one is a painting again. How do I keep doing that? <laughs> Just keep doing it. Um, I like to use that painting as a mirror because it's like a person's face, sort of. <laughs> and it's also blue, like you'd kind of think of a stereotypical mirror. You could also create your own um, mirror by using maps. I think you may have seen me do that before. But if you want it really quickly without the map uh, trick, then what you do is you just kind of use that painting and then it kind of looks like, hey, I lost some weight. <laughs> Maybe a little too much. Okay. Uh, toilet over here. A couple of uh, banners for some towels. And then we have a little shelf with some plants up there. And then, of course, this was our ceiling, but let me get rid of that for now. And then a button for the toilet, a trash can, and maybe that's the paper towel, or the toilet paper holder, and a little carpet on the floor here. So, super simple little bathroom. Uh, the kitchen. Along this wall right here, what I did is I did um, blackstone polished blocks right here, polished blackstone blocks. So actually two of them from the ceiling down so two, and then I put these on, on the front for like our cabinets. And then a space and then more polished blackstone. Right here I use two netherite blocks. If you don't have netherite blocks, use something else for your um, stove, like just some furnaces or whatever. And then a couple of stone pressure plates for like the actual stove part. And then a couple of buttons for like the oven handle. And then right here we have the stereotypical derpy Minecraft fridge. And then over here, what I did is an island. And then I decided to put the sink in the island. And then, of course, we have these trap doors like this. The island comes out from the sink. It's two blocks away. And it's two blocks deep. So, like, from left to right. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks long. So it's one block away from the window. This you can walk past there. And also, like, I don't like it when it's right against the window because it looks weird from the outside, kind of. And then above that, I have uh, mirrored above it. This is actually on the ceiling, but of course the ceiling isn't there right now. So there's there's your ceiling blocks. Um, these blackstone blocks with some end rods. And then on the other side, I have like that with our slabs and trap doors. And then here's our table right here. So the table is uh, from corner wise, it's two blocks away from the corner diagonally. And then it's two by, I think one, two, I think it's six or seven. One, two, three, four, oh, five. That makes sense, five. And then we have the same chairs. And then over the top of it, of course, there's ceiling over the top of this like that. Over the top of it, I did that same trick with some end rods. And then like you could use chains or these iron blocks, iron rods, I mean, iron, uh, iron what are those things called? Iron bars, that's what they're called, iron bars. Uh, hanging down and I just alternated like an end rod an iron bar an end rod an iron bar end rod iron bar like that And I think that makes a really effective light up above there. I Saw that somewhere. I wish I could give somebody credit, uh, but I can't think of who that I saw that from um, And I got rid of my painting again. This right here is uh, The red sandstone and I made a couch so we've got one block away from that and let's see one two three away from the uh, the chair right there we have like a row of these going this way and it's one block away from where we have that and then slabs on there to make like a really cool little couch. Some blackstone slabs here, two blocks away from that. And then two blocks away from that, I did this TV where we have some netherite blocks for some speakers. And I actually put some tra some uh, item frames on there to be the actual speaker look itself, but those didn't copy over. And then fill the whole thing with shroom lights. And then what you can do is take your painting again, which of course I got rid of somehow. <laughs> wow. Struggling with these paintings. There we go. Okay, and then what you do is you just put like paintings over that. Of course, we want to like not have it go over our speakers. There we go. And I just put like, seriously? There we go, like that, something like that to create like a TV. Okay, then right here we have two doors in front of our uh, thing right here. Again, when I copy and paste doors, like it doesn't copy and paste the whole door. It only does half of it, I don't know why. Um, we've got that. So into our elevator area and then two buttons just to kind of be like our elevator buttons or whatever. Um, we have this right here. This is a little light with a couple of end rods and some glass panes. And right here we have a fireplace. This fireplace is built by doing, um, well, let me just get rid of the slabs for a second. And then you can see the fireplace. Now these are actually blocks that go into the bathroom. That's actually the back of the mirror. 
So you saw that the painting that is the mirror of our bathroom popped off, and that's those two blackstone blocks right there. And then um, blackstone going up. You could actually put two blackstone blocks right there, and then when I fill in the ceiling, you'll have that right there. And then the next floor b above will actually have these campfire blocks, these like that on top of that, so it'll hide the, uh, the white concrete, because you can kind of see the white concrete there. Except when I have these slabs, the polished blackstone slabs, you don't really see the white concrete, but it is there, like that. And that's the fireplace. And then I did another one of these lights here. And then coming down the hallway for lights, I just did like a block. Um, sorry, I did like two end rods, and then I did a space of one, two, three, and then more end rods, like that. Okay, next what you're going to do is you're going to fill in all of that with white concrete. So that's actually at the same block height. Hopefully you guys saw that so that like right here, this is actually our block height right here and that's like the TV and so on and so forth. So um, yeah, so I guess the full height is one, two, three, four blocks inside. The fifth block is ceiling like that. Okay, and then um, there's one little thing that I, because I use bling edit, so like if you take these two blocks above this fireplace and make those black stone, you'll be able to see where they are. Oh, also, I forgot. Put a little door right there. You could do a two block high or a three block high. That way you can get out to the balcony. And if you want to build some furniture out here, go for it. I just think it kind of looks a little tacky to have furniture out on the um, balconies when I'm doing my thumbnails. But if you want furniture out here, because that would probably be more realistic, then go for it to have just a bit of furniture out there to sit and check out the views. Okay, so that is actually one full layer completely decorated. So now what we have to do is we have to build some more of those. So on top of this, you're gonna build a second layer, right? So this is the edge. So you're gonna come along here and build the edge, and then you're gonna come up, uh, what, what was that, five blocks, one, two, three, four, five, and then do all the interior, and then fill it in, and that would be uh, your second layer. And then you just continue those layers up until you have one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two of them. So you'll actually have twenty-two. So you want to build twenty-one additional layers like this. So there's actually going to be twenty-two apartments in this thing. Now, if you want to go a little higher, go for it. Or if you run out of room for world height, then go ahead and you can see my elevator got away from me up there. Hey, buddy. <laughs> if you're running out of world height, then you could go a little shorter. Um, I wouldn't go too much higher or shorter just because aesthetically, like this is kind of proportioned out to be a certain height. And if you go too much higher, it might look a little odd or too much shorter. It might look a little odd. So you don't want to do that. There are a couple of points. Um, these windows right here do not get covered over by the concrete. They go all the way up. Otherwise, um, see how that window like basically goes all the way up? It kind of adds like this cool stripe to the thing. Don't fill in concrete over the top of this window. Okay, make sure that that is... Uh, these windows obviously have concrete over them. This one does not on the end, and neither does this one. Sorry, actually, that should be like that. There we go. Perfect. Like that. So you can see that I actually made that error. <laughs> And, oh, this need, does need to be filled in. I was trying to show you where the height was. All right, so after building 21 layers of that, you should probably be really tired <laughs> and have something that looks like this. Not too bad. Not too bad, except I left one torch sitting right there somehow, and it got copied 21 times. <laughs> I have 21 torches to kill, and for some reason, there is a skeleton wandering around my house. Our first tenant. <laughs> Okay, then next what you're going to do is you're going to build some stuff on top of this to finish it off. Okay, next what you're going to do to finish off the top is you're going to come over to this wall right here, this orange terracotta wall. This soul torch right here, the blue one, represents the top layer that should already be there. You're going to build on top of it an additional one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten layers all the way to the top here. And you're going to build that all the way um, the same like length as the wall that was coming up. So however long this is right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to build it all the way over 
to where this, th so this right here was our three by three that we had, or our, sorry, five by three little kind of circle thing that we had from way down there. Okay. And if you want to fill that in or put something in there, that might be recommended so you don't fall down in there. Or you could build like some secret thing if you're doing survival, like a secret elevator to the top. Whatever you want to do. doesn't matter. It's just kind of like a decorative thing. Anyway, um, then what you're going to do is right here along this wall. So to top the top of the wall that um, should be, exist right here. So this is our this should be not that one, but this one should be our existing wall. What you're going to do is you're going to build up one, two, three, four, only five like that. And then along here, you're going to build these two windows that are like that. And they're made out of the stained glass panes. They're actually the same width as that window, but they're kind of spaced a little different. Okay. Then you're going to build this right here. And then you're going to continue the three wide glass block wall all the way to the top of that. So that's five more blocks. And then same thing with the white concrete all the way around. And then right here, what you're going to do is you're going to build this window. So this is actually like in the middle of the, f so it should be uh, four blocks tall like that. And it's the same width as one of these from the, uh, the apartment as like the master bedroom window, except it's four blocks tall instead of two blocks tall. And it's also a stained glass pane. And then you're going to continue that two high window uh, block thing that was kind of like at the end of the hallway. And you're going to continue that up. And then you're going to continue this wall up all five blocks, five blocks, five blocks, five blocks, continue all this up five blocks. And then this should, of course, be um, five blocks, 10 blocks up like that. Okay, um, right here where you had this, you're going to basically have a floor and then you're going to continue that glass up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks only. And it's going to go across like this and across the front. So these glass blocks right here are exactly over where these are on the, um, oh, we have another tenant. <laughs> Look at that. It's an exploding pickle for a tenant. <laughs> Look at him. Anyway. <laughs> um, so these are built like on top of these. So it's just an extension of the pattern, but it's seven blocks tall instead of four or whatever that is. Okay. And then, yeah, and then put a little wind door right there. I put the door here uh, for the restaurant, and you'll see why when we decorate the interior. Okay, for the front part of the restaurant, on the exterior here, what I've got is right, let, let's start in the corner. On the exterior, what I did is, let's see, one, two, three blocks going across the front here. On the interior, I have, oh, and I think I forgot to tell you to build this little edge to all the way around. So it's a one block um, tall white concrete edge all the way around. I didn't mention that, but I think you saw it. So sorry, I forgot to mention it. Anyway, one, two, three. And then basically what I do is a blackstone slab that's on the bottom, two top blackstone slabs, and then a bottom blackstone slab. And then we just have trap doors like that. And then you're going to do another one like that. And then a third one like that. And that should take you to a couple blocks away from this door that we did earlier, which is two blocks away from the edge, by the way. I didn't tell you where that was either. I'm getting tired too. You guys are probably really tired. Or maybe you're not tired because you took a break. Like I probably should. Anyway, uh, two blocks away here, we have another table right here. Or if you think about it, just right here on the edge. doesn't matter where the exact placement of these is, but if you want it exact, that's where they are. Okay, on the interior here, what I did is right after you come out of this elevator door right here with these half doors, half doors, like that. <laughs> um, I basically made an orange block wall that goes all the way to the top where the elevator is. So like if this is the elevator, um, the front of the elevator right there, then what we have is these orange terracotta blocks like that. Okay. And it's all the way across there, except for right here where the door is. There's of course a gap. Okay. Then I did a column in the corner right here. And this is actually the ceiling height right here. I know it's a little weird that the ceiling's lower than that, but it's actually the one, two, third block down. So we're actually gonna have like kind of like a one block gap of a ceiling there, unless you wanna do something like this where like, you know, this part is sort of lower and you can have like an air conditioner in there. Uh, I'll explain why I did that when we get over to this part over there. But anyways, um, a column in the corner, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the basalt. Then one, two, three blocks up, the fourth block go over one, two, three, four with basalt, and then do a column that's the same height as that one, every other column until you get to the window like that. So there should be four columns there. 
All right. Turning around right in front of this elevator, one, two, three, four blocks out. Um, I did one, two, three, four, five, six basalt blocks centered on the elevator. And then I did like this basalt uh, thing that's one, two, three, four blocks by six. And then I just punched some holes in it and put some plants in there. Then we have a plant there and a deal right there. And then up above that, I did some polished blackstone wall and then a chain. So a chain and then two chains, a chain and two chains with end rods like that to kind of be a little light. And I think that looks good. At the end of this, go up one, two, three, four stairs. And then at the top of it, build this platform that is made of slabs. So the slabs, and it goes all the way to the window here. And these are birchwood slabs. Then I did these tables. So like starting in the corner right here, so one block away, we did another one of those um, polished blackstone tables, except it comes out three blocks and there's two chairs like that. Then two blocks away, I built another one. And you can see all of that. And then over here, I did this right there. And then right here, what I did is I put some trap doors like this. I was thinking about putting glass along here, like the polished, or sorry, the glass panes. But instead, I decided to do these crimson trap doors. I think that actually looks really good as like a railing. Adds a little bit of color to the restaurant too. Okay, then right across from this stair, one, two, three blocks away, and then right next to the window, I have a table there. Then coming over here, like in the corner of the glass right here, one block away from the glass, actually the crimson trapdoor is exactly in the corner. I have a table there, a two block space and another table this way. And then along this orange terracotta wall, I put some of these uh, basalt pillars. So they're three blocks tall. Now, if you really wanted to, and I almost did this because in the process of building, I put these in after like, I built these tables up here. You could move these tables forward one and then have the basalt blocks go all the way to the ceiling height of right. The ceiling height is actually right there, but, um, or this is where the ceiling is going to be right there. And the reason the ceiling is there, by the way, and I mentioned why, is because this strip along here is three blocks tall, but it looks kind of weird, doesn't it? So what you need to do is you need to build this like this and fill this in all the way across here like that. Da, 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 da. So now it kind of looks awkward on the inside. So then what I just decided to do is just to fill in the entire ceiling height here. And then I just put another ceiling <laughs> at the top like this all the way across. And I'll build that in just a little bit so you can see like the full thing all the way done. But that's kind of like why this only goes up to here is because basically you've got this ceiling and then you have like the roof of the whole building right there. Anyhow, um, I think I covered everything with these tables and stuff. Oh yeah, right behind this, I built this little table right here. Uh, it's just another one of those sort of two seaters. Okay. In this space, we're going to do like the little bar area and maybe the kitchen. Okay. To do this area in here, what you're going to do is you're going to continue from this point right here, which is where that opening was. Did I show you the opening? Did I show you the opening? I think I showed you the opening. Anyway, there's an opening in the wall right here. That's one, two, three, four blocks high. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 blocks long. And at that 10th block, the 11th block right here should be wall and then continue on over that way. But right here, what we have is another wall going this way. So that it's to the left side of that window right there and make it one block shorter than the top because this is going to be our ceiling. I just have the ceiling off so you can see like where everything is. That's all. Okay. Then along here, I did an entire row of basalt blocks. I did four. And then I did a cauldron, one and a cauldron, one and a cauldron, and then four more blocks like that. So th we kind of have like some sinks. This is an entire row, one block away of basalt blocks. And then I just did a pressure plate or two to be like, you know, little plates or whatever. And yeah, above that on the ceiling, what I did is some polished blackstone wall all the way to the edge again over here like that. And then with end rods just all the way along. Maybe too many end rods, but whatever. And then along the ceiling here, I did more basalt blocks like that. 
Okay. You could also decorate this a little bit more than I did, but I think that that's just effective enough. These tables are built out of a polished black stone wall with a piece of carpet on top. And then we have our black stone polished slabs around them. Okay. For their locations, they're basically one away from this window right here, and then one away from the wall right here. And then I did a second one two blocks away, and then a third one two blocks away from that. I think that looks good. Okay, for the kitchen, what I did is starting at this window, what I did is I put two blocks of this polished blackstone and then two blocks above like that for some cabinetry. And then I did four netherite blocks or you could use furnaces for these stoves. I really like netherite for stoves, for like a big old stove. Like this is like an industrial uh, kitchen, like a professional kitchen basically is what I was going for here. And then in the corner here, we have these three blackstone blocks like that. Right here above the stove, two blocks above it actually, we've got um, four sea lanterns. And then of course our crimson trapdoors with these iron trapdoors like that to be kind of like the vents from that. And then we have this big old um, refrigerator on the side here, the standard iron block refrigerator, but it's three wide like that with some doors. And then over here, what we have is some more of these, like this, and some end rods here over a triple sink, which I think is looks pretty cool actually. And that works well with the trap, with the pre, the whatever that thing is and the buttons, yeah. And then we've got here a couple of beacons. I was trying to intend that to be like a microwave. And then right here, we've got you know a couple of plates, a couple of cups. And then right here, maybe this is the area where like the wait staff comes in to grab um, the food or whatever, and then, uh, you know, take it out to the guests. And then maybe these are like the heaters that kind of keep the food warm while it's sitting there. It's kind of my thought here. And then this is like the food prep area for the wait staff. Sometimes like the wait staff, I think makes the salads and stuff. I don't know. I've never been um, a waiter, but um, yeah. I've never done like food service like that, but I think that they have like an area where they have to do some of the food prep as well as um, waiting tables, I think. Anyway, um, so that's that, that's that. And then all we have to do is cover over the top with some white concrete here, cover over this with some orange terracotta and we're all done. Okay, there we go, it's all done. So I hope that you guys are able to build this elevator from the elevator tutorial that I have, but there are a couple of little things that I did to make it a little bit uh, that's interesting. Evidently, I copied the elevator somehow and recopied it. Uh, just one layer of it. Anyway, um, as I'm going in here, what I did is I put some end rods underneath like the um, the observers here. And I also, yeah, it, it's kind of messed up. So, But I put the uh, like an end rod underneath these observers like that. I thought that would be a good place because I actually didn't test it to see like if you could actually put a block there or not. Um, so then by putting these end rods, they're not activated by redstone. So I thought that that would both light it up and kind of uh, prevent me from having any issues. And then also I filled in the sides a little bit more with some of the obsidian just so that when you're riding in this elevator, you're not... Um, you know, you're not like uh, constantly looking out the side of it or like there's not like gaps in it and stuff. But yeah, anyway, just to let you know that. And then one other thing that I forgot to show you. Oh, look, we have an exploding pickle. <laughs> uh, was this sort of center rack thing? Um, just some trapdoors here, iron trapdoors, and then these on the sides. Just a bunch of trapdoors. I wish they didn't come up with something that kind of we could use as trapdoors, but isn't trapdoors. You know what I mean? Like little vertical things that you can place on walls, build stuff out of. Yeah, because trapdoors get a little old, <laughs> but they're effective, they work well, so anyway. Okay, I almost forgot some last little details here at the bottom, so around the bottom at the edge, oh, we have another tenant, look. <laughs> another exploding pickle tenant. Hey buddy, what are you doing? You can't blow up because it's creative mode, so we can get close to you and check you out. You're kind of short, you know that? Okay, anyway, um, uh, go ahead and build an edge of white concrete all the way around here. So it's like a one block up little wall all the way around, all the way over to there. Boop. And then along here, what you're going to do is put in some jungle trees. So all I did was just put in like four saplings and then bone meal them there and there. And then I just did a little bone meal on this grass to make it look um, like 
something was actually there. And then I forgot to bone meal the grass there, but you get the idea. And then um, next, what you're going to do is around the pool, you want to put some lounge chairs. So what you're going to do is you're going to put like two and then go like that to make some lounge chairs. And I, do, I did like every other one and I literally went all the way around the pool. Uh, or actually I did the left or just the long sides. I didn't do the short sides, but just the long sides like this. Probably too many lounges, but you can never have enough lounge chairs by a pool, right? Because eventually somebody takes it and then you're like, where's my lounge chair? <laughs> and then some like weird person's like laying out sunbathing in a Speedo or something. And you want to be far away from that. So you want a lounge chair uh, far away from that. <laughs> There we go. Cool, just like that. And with that, uh, we're pretty much done. Also do a tree here and a tree there, and then do one tree down here, all jungle trees. If you wanna build your own custom trees, go for it, or if you wanna do some other decorative thing, if you don't like my jungle trees, then you can do whatever you want. But that's what I did on this one. Well, guys and gals, this has been Hex. If you, in fact, actually got to this part of the video, congratulations, because you've built yourself a beautiful skyscraper, or you've watched a really boring video. <laughs> no, hopefully it's not that boring. But anyways, um, if you did get to the end of it and you liked it, and you appreciate what I do, then leave a like, subscribe, and share. I really appreciate that. But more importantly, I hope you are having an amazing, beautiful, awesome day. And God bless.